What's going on guys, this is Apple Fox channel here and in today's video I'm having here the iPad mini 4 in front of me. As you could probably notice that, but in today's video we're gonna be making a review of the iOS 11.2 right on the iPad. So let's get started. Getting inside the settings you can see that we have one software update in here and if I open it up you're gonna be able to see after it loads up of course that the update will be ready to download and install. I think it is downloaded already, so all we have to do now is click on the install button and wait until the installation process will be finished. But first of all, we're gonna need to see it right here, and as you can see, unable to check for update, but that is probably because I'm having the airplane mode turned on. And here we are, so iOS 11.2 is already downloaded. The update needs to be verified at this point of time, but I'm not gonna go through this installation process because this is something you are familiar with. All you wanna see is like how well the iOS 11.2 performs on the iPad. So let's skip right to that. By the way, I'll definitely make a speed test comparing the 11.1 with the latest release 11.2 right on this iPad. So if you want to see it, then definitely hit the subscribe button and that way you won't miss it. And here we are, and as you can see, the update has been completed, so let's click on continue and welcome to iPad. So what are the new features and what are the new changes or what basically you should know about this update? Because, of course, this is the review of the iOS 11.2 running on the iPad. So everything what you need to know about it in terms of the iPad. So I'm not gonna tell you that you have new wallpapers and that it is mentioned in the update description because it is mentioned, but it is only dedicated for the iPhone 10. I mentioned it in my iPhone 10 iOS 11.2 update video, but I'm not gonna be talking about it here because it has nothing to do with the iPad. As a part of this description, you can see that iOS 11.2 introduces Apple Pay cash to send request and receive money from friends and family with Apple Pay. First of all, I thought that it is not working for the iPad, but it turned out that it is really working for the iPad as well. Of course, you cannot use the Apple Pay the normal way on the iPad, just like you would do on your iPhone. Meaning you cannot go to the store and simply pay with your iPad. Uh, that, that is ridiculous. But what you have to do is like to use this new Apple Pay cash system or this new feature with iMessage that you have on your iPad. So if I swipe up to get to the home screen, you can see that I'm having the messages right here. And that means that I can also use it here as well. So what are the new features that have been introduced in the 11.2? So first of all, there is this new, like a new way how the toggles for the Wi-Fi and for the Bluetooth actually work on the iPad and of course other devices running the 11.2. So for example, as you can see, I'm having the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi turned on. If I click on my toggle right here, you can see that it turns white. We have the pop-up right here, which is basically telling us that the Bluetooth accessories have been disconnected on until tomorrow. So I'm not gonna be able to use the Bluetooth as you can see until it turns back to blue. So it is even more ridiculous. I don't really get this feature. I have no idea why it is working like this. In the video I made about the iPhone 10 running the 11.2, I mentioned that it is it is working perfectly fine. I mean, when I clicked on the Wi-Fi toggle or the Bluetooth toggle, it turned it off completely. It didn't only disconnect me, but that had to be some kind of bug or something like that. If you haven't watched that video, then make sure to watch it because it is really interesting. I'm not sure what happened in there, but it was working fine. But after some time I spent with the 11.2 on my iPhone, it turned out that it, it is working the very same way as you can see here. Here. So this is what the pop-up for the Wi-Fi actually looks like. So as you can see, it disconnected me until tomorrow. And as you can see, Wi-Fi will continue to be available for airdrop, personal hotspot and location accuracy. I mean, Apple wants us to like use it more productively and to have a better experience with using the Wi-Fi toggles in the control center, but I believe that what many people want is like to click on Wi-Fi and turn it off. I don't think that people want to go inside the settings, find a Wi-Fi toggle and there turn it off. They simply want to like use the control center because this is what it's meant to be. I mean, it works like that on every older version of iOS, but in the iOS 11 it has been changed and for some people it is not usable or it's basically useless for them because they just want to turn it off completely, not only to disconnect. This update also contains a very important bug fix that has to do something with the calculator and that it doesn't work really well in the older version, but on the iPad there is no stock calculator, so this information has nothing to do with the iPad that I'm holding here or with any other iPad running iOS 11 or any other version because the iPad has never actually had a calculator. You can of course download it from the App Store, but it has never been included right out of the box. What's also cool about this update, and it also applies to the iPads, is that there are new emojis as well as the old ones that have been redesigned and got new look. 
So if I scroll down until I find the foods section right here, so this is the scotch emoji that has been redesigned in the iOS 11.2. I know that you probably have seen it already if you watch my channel because I was talking about it in the video I made about the iPhone 10 running the 11.2. I'm talking about it in the iPad video and I also mentioned it in the Apple Watch 4.2 video and on every single device it has been redesigned. So Apple is really consistent with the emojis and once they actually decide that they want to change it and that they want to add new you want then it's going to be present on every single device running that version. This was only an example, meaning that there are other emojis that have got a new look. One thing I forgot to mention about the Apple Pay Cash is that it is only available within the United States. So if you live anywhere outside the United States, you're not going to be able to use it, at least right now. But in the future, I believe that it will be working like around the globe, at least in those countries where the Apple Pay works. And for example, the camera stabilization should be working fine as well. It also improves stability in calendar as you can see right here so all of the things right here should be working well also let's take a look at the storage before and after the update just like i do it in every single update video so as you can see the capacity is 16 gigabytes and available is 1.48 gigabytes and this is the version 11.1.2 that was the previous available update for the ipad and if i swipe right you can see if i zoom it in really quickly here you can see that the 11.2 is this current version, uh, 16 gigabytes of capacity, and the available is at 2.21 gigabytes, which means that I gained a couple of hundred megabytes, which is definitely great, and I didn't expect to see it. Of course, on the iPhone, if you remember, I showed you that I gained over 5 gigabytes, which is not something believable, but this is definitely believable, and it could really happen that the files got removed. So it is really great that I gained the storage back, and that is the end of today's video, guys. I just just want to say thank you so much for watching and just like every time if the question is if you should go ahead and update i would definitely recommend you to do it i mean i'm always telling you that you should go ahead and update i don't even remember when was the last time when i told you that don't do it like don't update your ipad or iphone to the latest release but most of the time apple releases good updates that fix a ton of bugs and issues and glitches so most of the time it is a good idea to do it Anyways, thank you so much for watching, enjoy the rest of your day, subscribe for more videos, as well as for the speed test of the iPad, enjoy the rest of your day, and see you in the next one.